Hello everybody, this is another video on making a Bedini hard drive. Uh, this one's all about removing magnets off of these metal brackets that they're glued on to. I'll just show you here. Uh, this one is a, uh, happens to be the two separate magnets. You can see that little line there. That means these are two different ones, this one being a north face here, south face, so these you can flip over and just deal with north or south poles, so these are kind of fun. Uh, but we are actually using the, most most of them come in this shape, and they're, they're actually a north-south pole built into one on the face here, so that's what most of them are like. Anyway, uh, they, these suckers come in many different shapes and sizes and bracket types. Uh, when you get them off the hard drive, they're usually sandwiched between two different pieces of metal. This one, the magnets are gone. Try to give you a close up there. Here's a pair that I haven't done yet. I want to hopefully show you getting these out. Anyway, um, the brackets themselves come in different shapes and sizes with either either flat or they might have just a couple of swoops or in this case uh, these three deals here so that you know you got to deal with all of them in different ways but the idea is pretty much the same. I'm just clamping that in the best I can because I need to grind something. I wanted to point out that uh, a lot of these guys have these little dimples. I don't know if you can see them. They're little protrusions that I guess help help them index the magnet properly when they glue them on there when they make them. I guess, but those can be a problem because it can create a pinch point on the magnet when you hit them or you know try to break them free and you might end up breaking the magnets and you know I've definitely broken I've probably broken five six magnets to this point out of maybe 20 or 30 probably pushing 30 maybe so you know I definitely broke magnets doing this uh, it's not an easy thing to do. So, anyway, I um, wanted to show you the different brackets. Uh, the tools needed uh, to get rid of that dimple. I'm using uh, old Gramps' uh, original Dremel tool here. And I've got a little cutoff blade on it. And basically, I'm going to just grind off those, those little nipple points. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is possibly a hacksaw to do the same thing, but you'll probably want to have a little grinder of some sort to get everything out of the way. A heat gun, because we're going to heat this thing up nice and slow uh, to sort of loosen that glue up, so by the time we get to hitting it, yeah, it'll come off of there. Uh, you're going to want to have a, a mallet and maybe even a little small delicate guy and some pieces of wood <clears throat> you don't want to hit the magnets with anything metal because you're gonna end, just end up chipping the magnet itself and chunking a piece off and maybe even breaking it just hitting it so a piece of wood is hard enough but soft enough to where you can get that magnet loose. Uh, I've got various thicknesses and stuff and it all depends on uh, the different brackets you're dealing with. Now, I, I went ahead and milled up some pieces of wood for this particular bracket. It's got magnets on both sides. It's 
it's stable, it's something I can clamp in the vise, and once I heat it up, and I can slip that piece of wood in there, it fits nice, and I can just start tapping on those brackets and hopefully pop them both loose at the same time. Anyway, that's the idea. Um, there's also, once you, you know, if you don't do the clamp method this way, you just have a single bracket. I've also clamped the thing in this way here and just put uh, a little bit of clamping pressure and it puts stress on the main bracket to where it's going to bend and that helps pop the magnet loose as well but I've found that if you put too much pressure on you can easily break this magnet somewhere or put stress on it when you go and hit and it, it breaks and you ruin the magnet so uh, you gotta be careful about that but you know it's just a little bit of pressure after you've got the thing heated up and, and uh, heat seems to be one of the main components uh, and that's pretty much to loosen the glue. Now, a uh, uh, big note on that, you don't want to use a torch or anything. You don't want to heat this thing up too quickly because from what I hear, you can ruin magnets, and I'm pretty sure I've ruined uh, a magnet by doing just that, using a torch to heat this up. Magnet came right off, but uh, it was really weak afterwards. <laughs> so uh, I think the key is to really heat this thing up slowly so you gotta have a lot of patience with this yes you're probably gonna break some magnets uh, but it's kind of a difficult thing now um, another side note is some of these magnets aren't glued on very well at all and you can just stick them in the vise without heating anything up and just give them a tap with the wood and they pop right out so always try that first start with the simple and work towards the uh, more complicated you know but uh, always hit it with a piece of wood I'm gonna go ahead and uh, on the next video I'm gonna just do that start popping some of these magnets off and and let you see me do it so I hope uh, that's good for this one I'll see you next round all right thanks guys and gals, everybody.